do it is 6 30 p.m and i will call the germantown school district annual meeting to order we are located in the pac at the germantown high school I'll call for order on that. We're not going to argue back and forth on this. This is a bad way to start the meeting. We're out of order at this point. We're going to continue on with the uh, proceedings and we'll get to your motion. Please. Uh, item B, official meeting notification, Dr. Chris Reuter, District Administrator. Thank you. Public notice of the budget hearing and annual meeting has been communicated from the superintendent's office to pu the public via the Germantown School District website and posted in all of our district buildings. Additionally, per state statute 12008 sub 1, notice was given on October 11th, 2024 in the Washington County Daily Newspaper as a class 2 notice and printed on, a page, uh, on page 5B. Again, on October 17th, a second Class 2 notice was given to the Washington County Daily Newspaper as a Class 2 notice and printed again on page 5B. Thank you. Item C, purpose of the annual meeting. Uh, per Wisconsin state statute, state law requires that every school district hold an annual meeting. The annual meeting pro, uh, provides district residents with the opportunity to provide feedback and assistance in decision making of the school district operations. Every elector of the district, including every school board member, is eligible to vote at this annual meeting. To ensure decorum of the electorate during this proceedings, District General Counsel Kevin Pollard will provide us with the ground rules. Good evening. The following will be the ground rules and procedures uh, to be followed for the meeting this evening. First, uh, the procedure for addressing the chair. Only electors may address the chair. Each speaker shall rise, proceed to the nearest microphone, wait to be recognized by the chair, then state their name and full address, street, street number, street name, city and zip code before addressing the chair. A speaker should address the chair, not other speakers or members of the public. Second, procedure for making a motion or providing comments on a motion. Each elector who wishes to make a motion or provide comments on a motion at the annual meeting will adhere to the following guidelines. Once recognized by the chair of the annual meeting, the speaker shall identify themselves by name and provide their full address, street number, street name, city, and zip code. If the speaker is representing a group or organization, please note this information also. Please limit each speaker's comments to no more than three minutes. Comments must pertain to the pending motion. Third, a procedure for voting. All voting, which can only be done by qualified electors, shall be handled as follows. Each qualified elector will receive a paper ballot, and voting will be done by a paper ballot with the following exceptions. For votes related to election of the chair, a standing vote will be conducted unless more than one name uh, or nomination for a chair is presented, um, in, in which case a paper ballot will be used. Also, for the approval of the agenda, a standing vote will be used unless uh, we're, the meeting is unable to determine approval, in which case a paper ballot will be used. The chair or the chair's designee will give directions on which paper ballot to use for voting. Um, electors shall cast their vote by, again, for election of the chair, a standing vote, or uh, filling in the name on the ballot if a paper ballot is used. And again, for approval of agenda, a standing vote will be conducted. Or if a paper ballot is used, then circling yes or no or abstain. For all other resolutions, a paper ballot will be used. You circle yes, no, or abstain on the paper ballot. For any proposed amendments, uh, which will require a motion, again, a paper ballot would be used for the amendment. And the electors will circle yes, no, or abstain on the paper ballot. 
electors will then place paper ballots in collection containers at the front of the PAC. Paper ballots will be counted and tallied by yes, no, or abstain after each request to vote. The ballot tallier will give voting numbers to the elected chair, and the elected chair will state how many votes for yes, no, or abstain. And these will be the ground rules for the meeting tonight. Thank you. To item D, introductions. Once again, I am President Russ Ewer, President of the Board. Joined on stage with me at this time is Vice President Eric Brown, Clerk Thomas, Thomas Barney, Treasurer Michael Loth, Director Kim Higginbotham, Director Tracy Pollack, Superintendent Chris Reuter, Director of Business Auxiliary Services Brittany Altendorf, and General Counsel Kevin Pollard. That will bring us to item E, election of the chairperson of the annual meeting. I nominate Russ Ewart as chairman of the annual meeting. I will second that. Mr. Barney with the motion, Mr. Loth with the second. Am I hearing any discussion? Seeing none, we will take a standing vote as no other name has been brought forward. Please stand up if you are a yes vote to this with your paper ballots in hand. We can sit. Then we will take a standing on opposed. If you oppose this, please stand with your paper ballot in hand at this time. Any abstentions at this time, please stand. I will note that I've seen none on both opposed and abstentions. It passes 95. 95? 95. It passes with 95. Yeah. Item F, approval of agenda. I'd like to move to approve the agenda as presented. Second. Mr. Pollock with the motion, Ms. Higginbotham with the second. Once again, we'll use a standing vote um, for this. Please stand if you are in favor and I on passing the approval of the agenda. They're done. You may be seated. All opposed, please stand with your ballot at this time. Seeing none, all abstain, please stand at this time. That passes at 96. We will move on to item G, report of district administrator, board of education, Dr. Chris Reuter, and myself, Russ Ewart. Thank you, Mr. Eager. 
Good evening, Germantown electors. As we begin the 24-25 school year for the Germantown School District students, we are proud of the educational services, opportunities, and operations that have taken place over the past academic and fiscal year. During the 23-24 school year, we, we exceeded expectations as a school district, and Rockfield Elementary significantly exceeded expectations. We continue to develop our profile of a graduate. We are working to cascade down to the kindergarten level to ensure every year we align programming and opportunities for every student to be college and career ready. Operational, operationally, the school district has been in its best financial state for, uh, since over the last decade. We are ahead of schedule to pay off referendum debt from the 2017 referendum and gave a full 4.12% CPI raise that was board approved to all employees ahead of the 24-25 school year. We are also engaging a 10-year facility plan for long-range planning and a three-year strategic planning process will start in the next month. Our co-curricular and club participation is at an all-time high and they continue to perform and excel at high levels. These outcomes continue a tradition of excellence and pride throughout this community. Thank you to our community, the Germantown School District staff, and the Board of Education for making this school district one of excellence. I'm honored to serve as the superintendent for this community and the school district. At this time, I'd like to introduce other GSD leaders, our administrative team, which are in attendance tonight. Please stand when I say your name. Ms. Brittany Altendorf, Director of Business and Auxiliary Services. Mr. Jake Miziak, Director of Teaching and Learning. Mrs. Katie Cole, Director of Pupil Services. Mr. Mike Nowak, Director of Human Resources. Mr. David Smith, Germantown High School Principal. Mr. Andrew Rooney, Germantown High School Assistant Principal. Mr. John Fox, Germantown High School Assistant Principal. Mrs. Alex Fisher, Dean of Students for Germantown High School and Middle, KMS Middle School and Dr. Sarah Nerdle, Director of Athletics and Activities, Mrs. Jessica Guerin, Kennedy Middle School Principal, Mr. Brandon Cole, Kennedy Middle School Assistant Principal, Dr. Dana Croat, Rockfield Elementary Principal, Mrs. Lindsay Chandelia, Amy Bell Principal, Mrs. Kelly Schultz, County Line Principal, and Mr. Tony Gonzalez, MacArthur Elementary Principal. Thank you to, for your leadership of our buildings and our students in this district. that I turn it back over to you, Mr. Ewing. Thank you, Dr. Ritter. This board is thankful for the community's active involvement and the support of their children's educational process. The students arrive prepared each day to make the most of the staff's instructions. They are supportive of one another and willing participants as young leaders in this community. I'm proud of the work being conducted by this board, administration, and our staff, as well as, full, as, as we all fully commit to the process-based path designed to provide many of the items Dr. Reuter just listed. We are committed to providing an avenue of upwards leadership and ensure, that ensures curriculum reviews are conducted at a staff level in conjunction with administration and the board, with all parties ensuring two things. One, the best educational outcomes possible tied to state standards, and two, the alignment with the community expectations and values. The board is committed to maintaining and providing Improving on our 93.5% staff retention rate, our staff compensation studies, and the actions that have derived from them highlight this commitment. Some of those actions are base, are base pay increase of $7,500 for new teachers, successful negotiations with the teachers union to close pay gaps of our teaching staff and ensure the 24-25 contracts and pay rate with a 4.12% raise were in place prior to the completion of the 23-24 school year. Both of these were first for our district. The recent improvements to the insurance benefits at no additional cost to our employees or the district is another example of many others. The board has also worked on the defeasance of $12 million of Fund 39 debt from the referendum resulting in taxpayer savings of $6.5 million all done while maintaining a balanced budget at the respect of our taxpayers. This would not be possible without strong leadership from administration or the board's willingness to try new approaches to complex issues. The board has and will continue to pr process, continue a process led approach to selecting and defining curriculum in our schools 
ensuring cross-district vertical alignment that leads to sound educational outcomes for all of our students and our children. The district has engaged our community and business-based partners in a collaborative manner to push the educational process beyond our walls. The district board has also continued, committed to partnering with the village in new ways. This continued communication will build understanding for both parties as parties' needs while we plan for the continued expansion of Germantown. Partnerships like these are vital to the district it's a long-term planning process, and we thank the village for their, for their commitment. Finally, I'd like, to thank, I'd like to thank the staff and administration for their daily commitment to improved excellence. Please take the following time as a community to reflect on the hard work being done and how we as an electorate would, be, would like it to continue. Thank you. Item H, Treasurer Report. Fund 10 General Fund, Mr. Michael Loth and Ms. Brittany Elmendorf. Good evening. Thank you all for coming this evening. Um, I'm going to turn it over to Brittany right away, but before I do, I think uh, after listening to Brittany going over the budget at 6 p.m., I hope you all agree that she is one of the top uh, uh, business managers in the state. She's sitting to your far left. And also, I'd like to uh, give a compliment to Dr. Reuter. Um, I hope you'll all agree that he's also one of the top district administrators in the state. So, Brittany, go ahead. Earlier tonight, I did go over in, in somewhat detail the budget, so I'm not going to spend more than one minute right now to talk about it again. Um, uh, so uh, the treasurer's report basically just goes over the fund 10 budget basically stating that each year we have added funds to our fund balance meaning that our revenue has exceeded our expenditures some of those are due to ESSER funds that we've received that we have spent strategically and um, as you are aware the budget for the 24-25 school district excuse me, school year is, um, is currently $195,000 in revenue higher than in expenditures, as I stated previously. Thank you. With that, we'll move on to item I, resolutions. Item I, one, vote for a tax of the 24-25 school year for the Community Services Fund, Fund 80, in the amount of $180,000. I'll make a motion. Now, therefore, be it resolved by the electors of the Germantown School District, Washington County, and the state of Wisconsin, that a tax be levied in the amount of $180,000 to operate a Community Services Fund for the purpose of offsetting costs associated with the general community use of districts, buildings, and sites. I'll second. Thank you. Mr. Brown with the motion, Ms. Higginbotham with the second, and I see we have someone standing at the mic. Sure. Am I recognized? You are now noticed. Bruce Warnemont, North 112, West 12467 Mequon Road, Germantown. Good evening, board. Good, Good evening, evening, Attorney Pollard. Nice to see you. Likewise. Um, I'm assuming that right off the bat when that gentleman stood up and moved to adjourn. He must have consulted Attorney Pollard, and his decision that it was out of order was because we had yet reached into this part of the uh, board meeting. Nonetheless, a motion to adjourn does take precedence over every other motion on the floor, and I'm standing here right now due to the discontent in the school district to make a motion that this meeting be adjourned, and it requires does require a second. And if it doesn't get a second, that's cool too. But I think the people that have concern about the meeting have a right to be heard. So I make that motion. I'll recognize that that's out of order as we had a motion on the floor. No, that's not true. It does precede any other pending motion on the floor. I would stay, stay right there. We do have an agenda that we're adhering to. But we have to handle the motion that's on the floor do, do, at, do at not current. Do adhere to Robert's rules of order? We have a motion that's on the floor. Do you not adhere to Robert's rules of order? And you have a copy handy where you could look it up. That a motion to adjourn is a privileged motion, and it takes precedence over any other pending motion. 
We'll verify. Thank you. Just for case, you can see if there's anyone else that would second that. Okay, we stand corrected. That is a privileged amendment or motion. So it is now on the floor. Do I have a second? Hearing none, we will move on. Back to uh, I-1. Uh, we do have a current motion and seconded. Any discussion regarding I-1? Hearing none, we will use ballot one, yes, no, or abstain. We will uh, drop them off in one of the three baskets at the front of the room. So for each paper ballot, I will pull the ballot and read yes, no, or abstain. Melissa Timmerman, uh, assistant to the board, and myself will then tally and we'll read out the final tally amount. Yes. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. 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 
yes, 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 abstain, yes, yes, no, abstain, no, 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 abstain, abstain, no, yes, no, yes, no, abstain, yes, 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 no, no vote. I, I'm sorry, I'm ballot. Yes, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, 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 no, yes, 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 yes. Yes, 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 no, yes, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Motion on I-1 passes, 85 yeses, 12 noes, 5 abstains. I-2 authorized tax levy for the 24-25 school year to all district operations in the amount of $43,787,047. This includes the Community Service Fund uh, referred above plus the general fund levy plus the non-referendum debt such as the energy exemption levy plus referendum debt levy. I'd like to make a motion. Now therefore be it resolved by the electors of the Germantown School District, Washington County, State of Wisconsin that a school tax be assessed against all taxable property within the Germantown School District in the sum of 
$43,787,047 necessary to operate and maintain the district school system and to finance the recommended general operating fund, the debt service funds, including the energy exemption non-referendum and referendum debt levies, the, ca the capital expansion fund, the community service fund, and all obligations for the 24-25 school year. I'll second. It's taken by with the motion, Mr. Brown, with the second. Do I hear any discussion? Hearing none, we will utilize ballot number two. Yes, no, or abstain. Please circle them and place them in the basket up front. Yes. Sorry. Yes. 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 Abstain. Yes. 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 Yes, 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 yes. No. Yes. 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 No. Yes. 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 
Yes. Yes. Yes. Yes. Yes. Yes. Yes. Yes. Yes. Yes. Yes. No. Yes. 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 The motion in I-2 passes 100 yeses, 3 noes, 1 abstained. Thank you. Move to item 3, authorize the Board of Education to, require, to acquire by purchase or condemnation real estate in, and structures and facilities current to such real estate necessary for school district purposes. Like to be recognized? Mr. Pollock, who are recognized? Tracy Pollock, N118 W15462, Catherine Court, Germantown. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the electors of the Germantown School District, Washington County, State of Wisconsin, authorize the Board of Education to acquire by purchase or condemnation real estate and structures and facilities appurtenant to such real estate necessary for school district educational purposes or no longer needed for district educational purposes. I'll second. Mr. Pollock with the motion, Ms. Higginbotham with the second. We'll hear any discussion on it? Seeing or hearing done. We will take a vote using ballot three. Yes, no, or abstain. Please circle one and place it in the baskets at the front of the room.
Yes. 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 Abstain. Yes. 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 No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. 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 No. Yes. 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 No. 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 Yes. No. No. Yes. 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 No. Yes. 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 No. Yes. 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 No. Yes. 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 Abstain. Yes. Yes. No. Yes. 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 Oh, sorry, one more. Yes. Motion on I-3 passes, 86 yeses, 15 noes, 2 abstained. I-4, approval of salaries and expense reimbursement of school board members. I would like to be recognized. I would, I would like to be recognized. You are recognized, Mr. Lowe. Thank you. Michael Loth, 
W153N9899, Neptune Drive, Germantown, Wisconsin, 53022. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the electors of the Germantown School District, Washington County, State of Wisconsin, that the school board salaries shall remain at $5,480 annually for each school board member. Be it further resolved that the board members be paid $40 for full day special functions outside of the district and for the annual tour of schools and $20 for half day special functions or evening functions outside of the district. Out of district mileage shall be reimbursed at the current IRS per mileage rate. Reimbursement shall be made for other actual necessary expenses meals, lodging, etc. Second. Mr. Pollock with the second. Mr. Loth with the motion, Mr. Pollock with the second. Hearing any discussion now. Seeing or hearing none, we'll take a vote using ballot number four. Yes, no or abstained. Please circle one and place it in a basket at the front of the room. Yes. 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 
Yes. Yes. Yes. Yes. Yes. Yes. Yes. Yes. Yes. Yes. Yes. Yes. Yes. Yes. Yes. Yes. Yes. Yes. Yes. Yes. Yes. Yes. Yes. Yes. Yes. Yes. Yes. Yes. Yes. Yes. Yes. Yes. Yes. Yes. Yes. Yes. Yes. No. Yes. 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 Abstain. Right. The motion for I-4 passes, 103 yeses, one no, one abstained. I-5, authorized the school board to establish the annual meeting date and location for 2025-2026. I ask to be recognized. Mr. Brown, you are recognized. Eric Brown, 3275 Prairie Hollow Drive, Richfield, Wisconsin. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the electors of the Germantown School District, Washington County, State of Wisconsin, authorize the Germantown Board of Education to establish the date and place for the 2025-2026 annual meeting, with the annual meeting starting at approximately 6.30 p.m., excluding the evening of the first day of school or nights of parent-teacher conferences of the 2025-2026 school year. Second. Who had the second? Mr. Brown. Mr. Brown with the motion, Mr. Barney with the second. Any discussion? Mr. Watermont, you are recognized. I'm here to present an amendment to this. Uh, as most of you know, a lot of people out here know, there was a lot of consternation about what the public perceived to be insufficient notice about the meeting. A lot of people are pointing to the statutes where it says the meeting has to take place by the end of uh, 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 July, I'm sorry. <clears throat> so here's what I'm proposing as an amendment. The date set by the board shall be published pursuant to the statutes by not later than July 31st, 2025, the superintendent of schools shall assure that no 
district school holds events other than co-curriculars on the day set by the board. I think you all will agree that's a reasonable amendment and would, if that had been done, it would have done away with a lot of the public's consternation. Um, the, the meeting was in the approved board schedule that has been public since, um, I believe, April. It didn't have the exact time, but it was dated this date for the annual meeting. It's a public document. It was in the packet. It's been on the board. It's on the district website. So I, I think his motion, though, obtain, pertains to conflicts of interest for citizens to arrive and take part in the electoral process. Do we have a second? Does he have to identify himself? Yeah. Chad Holly, um, Magnolia Drive, Germantown. Uh, I just want to second it so we can say what you're going to say. Okay. I appreciate your second on that. Mr. Pollock, can you please explain um, what you've explained to me, I guess, would be the best way to go. So the annual meeting has the authority to set a date and time for the next annual, or to authorize the board to set the date and time for the next annual meeting. But this annual meeting doesn't have authority to direct uh, the superintendent to take any other action or to refrain from taking certain action relating to other co-curricular activities. Um, so by statute, this annual meeting doesn't have the authority to, to direct the superintendent in that regard. How, however, That's, I can yeah, yeah. work to ensure that to some extent I can't control the WIA with co-curriculars and or PTA events that are taking place this evening as well. Um, but we can control what we can operate, whether it be parent-teacher conferences, choir concerts, those type of things. The opinion of the president of the board would be I see no reason why we couldn't work around this as best as possible. We have someone coming to the stand. Hi. Hey. Could, could you reread it? We just really couldn't understand the scope of what it was said. I'll, I'll do my best. The date set by the board shall be published pursuant to the statutes by, by not later than July 31st, 2025. The superintendent of schools shall assure that no district school holds events other than co-curriculars on the day set by the board. Was that? You gotta, you gotta come to the, ma'am, you gotta come to the mic if we're gonna. So they're saying, I just said for clarification, like sports events could still happen, but other. Co so there'd be co-curriculars. Okay. Just would, um, as far as the attorney's opinion on this, it appears that we can't set this motion via the annual board. I don't see a reason why this board would object to ensuring this. I think it's a perfectly reasonable request to the citizens. Mm -hmm. For sure. Dr. Reuters yeah, office. Anything can, that's out of our control though, um, whether it be WA events or um, travel for other co-curricular groups that's already been pre-approved, we wouldn't halt opportunities for students. But parent-teacher conferences um, or any other function at schools in the evening, we can schedule around 
with the exception of PTA events, because those are their own governing body. They're not an entity of the school district. Rescind my second. Or no, well, just so we don't just just hold, just hold 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 on 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 that. Okay. I'd like to revise. Attorney Pollock, help me make sure I get this right. Revise my proposed amendment to eliminate the superintendent shall part of it and just leave the board shall set the date and time by the 31st of July. Strike the rest of it. Is that okay with you, attorney? Can, can you, so the, can we read the full motion? So, you know, it's just, so you're asking for it to just be the date set by the board yeah, the shall board be published pursuant, yeah, just let me, so everyone understands, pursuant to the statutes no later than July 31st, 2025? Correct. So we have to set can, a date by for next year's board meeting. Can, can we do that in restricting it to uh, statute? I would suggest that the original motion, the amendment, the proposed language be added to the original motion. Right. I think that's what we're getting at because we still want to authorize the board to schedule the meeting Correct. and then just adding that the date shall be published no later than. So, so but, if you want to make the, that motion, Mr. Warnemont, pardon me? If, if you want to make that motion to amend to add on that language to the motion that was on the table. As a friendly amendment to myself so the public doesn't have to vote on two amendments, yes. Okay. Do we have a second to the friendly amendment? A second. So dump the double amendment. I just wanted to second it for a discussion, if that's the proper way. So I'm not going to second sure. it. Sure. He, he's asking for a friendly amendment okay. to hit to what you've initially seconded. Sure. We've held discussion on that, and now he's asking for that friendly amendment because it would take us outside the powers of the annual meeting. Yeah. So, like I said, I just seconded it for a discussion purpose. Okay. Um, I'm not going to second that. Okay. And. Um, I guess I would rescind my first second if I can. I actually, so the, I'm not trying to muddy it up, but yeah, <laughs> the notice, the publication. I guess I did. <laughs> not more than eight days, no less than one day before the annual meeting. So if we're doing it as a class two notice, technically we can't do it that early because by statute it's got to be not more than eight days. We could help us as the date. We wouldn't just do it. We already do it in April when we approve the board schedule. We already do this. Part. We already do this. It's so it's not. A, it's a moot point. Okay. In our board approval of the agenda, in our board approval of board dates, we put the annual meeting in and the date. We just don't specify the time. We do that in the class two notice. But the class two so notice is the one that's got to be not more than eight days before the hearing. Yeah, that's but we do that. But we do. We can still do that. Okay. Yeah. Good. Kim second. Okay, so we have the friendly amendment by Mr. Warnermont, Ms. Higginbotham, with the second of the friendly amendment. So we will we have to vote on the amendment. Yep. And then vote on. Yeah, vote to amend first. Yep. Okay, so we will vote on the amendment that the date set by the board shall be published pursuant to the statutes by no later than July 31st, 2025 as the addition to the original motion. So we are voting on the addition of that language to the original motion. Do we have any questions or concerns in regards to what we're voting on? Well, uh, So the, the proposed amendment is um, suggesting to publish notice by statute um, as of 
July. However, the statute requires that the notice be published as a class two notice with the, the second publication um, not, uh, not later than eight days prior to the meeting. So we're within eight days prior to the meeting. So technically this amendment is saying we shall publish pursuant to statute by not later than July 31, but that technically violates the statute. And I know this is very technical, but I would suggest again that this motion, because the administration and the board you know, don't seem to have any problem providing notice of the meeting that early. And I think that's the intent here. Um, I would suggest that this amendment, if Mr. Warnemont would agree to uh, make a friendly amendment saying that the date set by the board shall be um, published posted. Po or posted on whether on the district website yep. posted on the district website not later than July 31 2025 is Mr. Warnemont still he here okay. yeah. you're good with that thank you Mr. Warnemont it's indicated he is okay with Attorney Pollard's recommendations to an a friendly amendment. I would need a second. I'll second. Mr. Brown with a second. So now we will vote on the friendly amendment. The date set by the school board shall be published pursuant, I'm sorry, shall be published on the district website. Posted. Posted on the district website no later than July 31st, 2025. We'll be using ballot five. If there's no questions, everyone understands what they're voting on, we'll use ballot number five, yes, no, or abstain. Yeah, we'll do, we'll do the amendment. Give them one. What, you have to go up to the street. Oh. Who had that? Yes. So I need to pay attention to comments. So just we'll just reread it. Yes, 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 no, 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 yes, 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 no, yes, 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 yes. Yes, 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 no, yes, 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 yes. 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 
Yes. Yes. Yes. Yes. Abstain. Yes. 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 No. Yes. 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 No. Yes. Yes. No. Yes. 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 Abstain. Yes. Okay, the amendment to the motion to I-5 passes, 89 yeses, 8 noes, and 2 abstain. Dr. Reuter is just going to update the screen with the correct language for the final, finalized motion for I-5, and then we will take our vote. Sorry, we're just ensuring the language from the initial motion is correct and the updated motion. Mr. Chairman, I'd like to be recognized. Mr. Barney. Uh, Tom Barney, N105, W16775, Old Farm Road, Germantown, Wisconsin. Um, I just want to explain kind of the procedure because a lot of you have probably not seen this before. We have a motion and then amendments and voting on things like that. So we had a motion. There was uh, finally agreed upon a friendly amendment to amend the original motion. The vote that just passed was to amend the motion and then next we will take a vote, unless there's another motion that comes forward, but we will take a vote on the amended motion.
I'm going over right now. Correct. Okay, the amended motion is correct as it appears on screen. It'll read, now therefore it be resolved that the electors of the Germantown School District, Washington County, State of Wisconsin, authorize the Germantown School, Ed School Board, Germantown Board of Education to establish the date and place of the 2025-2026 annual meeting with the annual meeting starting at approximately 6.30 p.m., excluding the evening of the first school day or night of parent-teacher day or night of parent-teacher conferences of the 2025-2026 school year. The date set forth by the board is to be posted on the GSD district website no later than July 31st, 2025. We will be voting on that. We will be using ballot number six. Yes, no or abstain, please place it in the basket in front of the room. Oh yeah. Yes. 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 Abstain. Yes. 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 <clears throat> yes. 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 No. Yes. 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 
Yes. Yes. Yes. Yes. Yes. Yes. Yes. Yes. Yes. Yes. Yes. Yes. Yes. Yes. The amended motion to I-5 passes 91 yes, 1 no, 1 abstained. Thank you for your patience. I have item J as the last item on our agenda. Adjourn the annual meeting. Mr. Chairman, I'd like to be recognized. Mr. Barney. I move we adjourn. I'll second. Mr. Barney with the motion to adjourn. Mr. Brown with the second. If there is no objection, we would take this vote by stand. Oh, sit. See no objection. Please stand if you're willing to adjourn this. Looks like they're done counting. Please sit. Please, I got to do the no's and abstains, please. So they've completed counting. You could sit. Any no's, please stand. See none. Any abstentions, please stand. At this time, we are adjourned at 7.53 p.m. Please place the remainder of your ballots with our staff in the back of the room. Thank you.